I dissected around the abnormal area that you could see on the scan. I thought, gosh, that feels funny. You couldn't see anything more abnormal. And then I was able to really feel something separate. I took my tweezers or my tumour holding forceps and I pulled it out and I thought, gosh, what is that? It's moving, take it out of my hands. And we put it in a path pot, thank goodness. And it's gone away to the scientists to find out what it was. So we immediately called the infectious diseases doctors and asked, what should we do next? It was definitely not what we were expecting. Everyone was shocked. And the worm that we found was happily moving quite vigorously outside of the brain. How's the patient? Really well. So we are able to finish the operation. We asked our infectious diseases doctors, should we do anything else, look around for anything else? And they said no. At that stage, we closed up and she was really pleased to have an answer. For many months, she'd been really struggling and it was really courageous of her to come and have further testing after not having answers for so very long. But she did really well for knowing what was actually causing all her trouble and then having now treatment for what was causing the trouble. Granted, it's never been described before, but the infectious diseases doctors and the team at the Canberra Hospital came up with the appropriate treatment strategy for her and she's doing quite well. So in my normal life, if I was in the garden, if I saw a worm, I'd be screaming and screeching like the rest of us. Um, but in theatre, we normally are very controlled and it's certainly not what we expect, but we took that time to sort of take stock, not squish the worm, so the scientists were able to identify exactly what it was. But it's definitely one of those moments in my life where I'm still a little bit traumatised since then, holding these forceps has caused me some degree of stress. Um, so um, it's very unusual to find something that was so unpredictable beforehand. The patient involved in this had a protracted illness. It was a sort of mystery diagnosis. And I was on what we call ward service, looking after other patients in the hospital who had infection problems and I got a call saying we've got a patient with an infection problem uh, we've just removed a live worm from this patient's brain and uh, so then of course there was a flurry of activity in our microbiology laboratory just trying to work out what this worm was and uh, eventually with the help of uh, a very clever CSIRO scientist we worked out that this was uh, a new parasite that had never been seen in a human before of the human brain which is I mean quite big but not not huge and this uh, worm was eight centimeters long and uh, it was alive and wriggling when our poor uh, but very skilled neurosurgeon took it out with some forceps.